In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus challenges our beliefs with a counterintuitive statement that focuses on the hearts of the disciples. He warns us about false Christian prophets and teachers who disguise themselves as harmless individuals. Jesus reminds us that God knows us intimately. As the Apostle Paul explained, he reminds us that the true omniscience of Christ is revealed by the depths of their hearts, which are steeped in iniquity. Jesus warns us that on Judgment Day, many will try to justify themselves as worthy of heaven based on their deeds, but this attempt will be in vain. The only work of God that really matters is having faith in the one he sent. Jesus, the righteous judge, will pronounce the sentence of eternal separation from his presence. This warning applies to people who proclaim the Lord, but whose spiritual life is not reflected in their daily lives. They may attend church and fulfill some religious obligations, but continue to sin against God and their neighbors. Understanding the true essence of these words can transform our spiritual understanding. Jesus claimed to be the ultimate judge of all people on Judgment Day, drawing attention to the importance of our lives. He emphasized the significance of true fellowship and connection with Jesus, as it is not enough to just confess or rely on spiritual deeds. Salvation is based on knowing Jesus and the reciprocity of that knowledge. Understanding Jesus and the gift of faith he bestows ensures our salvation. Without this connection, miracles and great works are meaningless. Jesus is the judge and departure from him is the essence of the misery of the damned. True faith in Christ is tested by obedience to the Father's will, and true faith is tested by following and obeying the Lord's commandments. Jesus illustrates that his listeners can be divided into two groups, those who hear and follow his teachings, and those who hear but do not act upon them. Those who trusted in Christ and demonstrated their faith through obedience have no reason to fear while those who professed faith in Christ but did not obey God will face condemnation. In Matthew 7, 2, 24, Jesus illustrates that his Sermon on the Mount was a remarkable exposition of divine truth, and people were amazed and impressed by his teachings. Jesus on the mountain demonstrated true and unparalleled authority, surpassing the scribes in the seats of Moses. The fundamental question is how can we serve God in an acceptable manner, and whether we are truly serving him according to the standard and will he has set. In this text, the author emphasizes the importance of aligning our lives with God's known will, rather than assuming we are automatically aligned with him. This is achieved through three key principles, reverent submission, true dedication, and embracing sacrifice. Revelant submission involves renouncing our own will and embracing God's will, as demonstrated by Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. This involves setting aside our own will when it does not align with God's will, and saying your will be done. True dedication allows us to naturally carry his presence and witness his supernatural manifestations. Embracing sacrifice in our journey requires investing our time, skills, energy, and resources to advance the kingdom of God on earth. Figures like Daniel, who risked his life to maintain his dedication to God through prayer, demonstrate this type of sacrifice. In conclusion, as we approach God in prayer, we can pray like this father, asking for grace and commitment to serve him in an acceptable way. Our spiritual journey is a constant and fascinating quest, and the words of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount challenge us to authentic faith, sincere dedication and obedience to God's will. By engaging in this journey, we can continue to deepen our understanding of spiritual truths and continue our spiritual journey. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel